Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We're going to jump in again and go for a randomization, see who we can get. I'm looking for a non tainted character and there is one because I want to try and unlock one of the new tainted hearts from the Repentance Plus mod and I've got a bit of an idea of how we're going to go about doing that. It's kind of, it's kind of, it, we can't do it properly. So I've got to get a little bit creative with how I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to see how things go. 120 volt is not bad at all. Pet rock is not bad at all. Um, and a patch heart is not bad at all. <laughs> that was uh, interesting. We got quite a lot going on there. Not that we need the patch heart for anything, I suppose. But still, um, let's be a little careful about the pooters here. But yeah, for the question of the day, what is your favorite animal? One that I'm surprised I haven't actually asked yet. Um, I don't know why. Prevents all bomb-themed items from appearing. Yeah, do you know what? I'll take that for now. I don't really care about getting any bomb items right now. I had to be careful there, because I wasn't sure if the spikes were deactivated after killing the enemy, or if they were still active sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, what's your favourite uh, animal? I mean, for me, obviously, you might be um, you might be clued into one animal that I quite like. <laughs> um, it's only part of my name, but actually not the reason for why that's my name at all. It has nothing to do with that. I've just grown to like turtles more because of that. And I have to say, turtles are um, near and dear to my heart just because... Not, not because I had one as a pet, you might think, but no, I haven't. Unfortunately, I've not been so lucky, but... When I was in Sri Lanka, um, as I was speaking about in the last episode, I actually got to witness a, um, a like a turtle birthing sort of thing, where when when turtles are hatched, it wouldn't be a birthing; it'd be a hatching. That'd probably be the better word for it. Um, when the 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 eggs get the the turtles come to shore and they lay their eggs um, on the shore and bury them in the sand. This is a four dive guy, isn't it? Yeah. And um, they lay them on the sand, uh, like in the sand, sort of on the shore. Um, but then all the baby turtles hatch and they have to make their way to the sea. And we were luckily there at the time that that happened. And so we got to watch all these little turtles hatch on the beach and make their way down into the water. And a few of them got lost and went the wrong way, so we had to help them. I got to hold one in my hands and take it into the sea and it was awesome. It was so cool. It was an experience that, although I was younger and don't fully, fully remember it, I definitely appreciate it a lot. Uh, so we are trying to go to the beast this time around here. But yeah, I really appreciated that a lot. That was like, just, just like an experience that I'll never get to experience in the UK. And probably even on holiday, unless I specifically went at the time of year to have it happen. And specifically went looking for somewhere where it could happen. Something that I, I very highly doubt I'd come across naturally again. So yeah, it was a really, really lovely experience. But otherwise, I don't know. Animals? I really like foxes. Like, as, as an animal that's just like... Not one that's uncommon for me, one that, that I, I wouldn't say I see often, but I can see in the UK. It's not completely out of this world to see one. Oh, foxes are really, really cute. I mean, they're a nuisance, definitely. Point your ribs pretty decent here. They're definitely a nuisance. They're definitely not, um, not an animal that you want near your house, to be honest, because they dig through your trash. They make horrible, horrible sounds in the night. I don't know if you've ever um, been unfortunate enough to witness the sounds of foxes mating, but it is not pleasant. Um, but at the same time, they're incredibly cute. And if they're uh, actually raised like dogs, um, if they're like raised from birth, they can be very affectionate. I don't know if uh, anyone's ever seen a Finnegan Fox on YouTube, but there is, do you know what? I'm gonna do this real quick. Grab that, grab that, go in here, pop that. Um, this was a risky play. But yeah, um, on YouTube, there's a, I, can't, I think it's called Save the Foxes or Save the Fox. It's, it's a YouTube channel that's like a, uh, an animal sanctuary that mainly focuses on uh, helping foxes. And there is some of the cutest little foxes you've ever done seen. Um, and then a few other ones that I, I probably wouldn't obviously see so much. I really like, um, do I want this? Yeah, I'll take this and then I'll go in here and try and trade it away. And I am very glad that I did that, because now we've got brimstone. Very, very good, very nice. This shouldn't... Cyanide. Yeah, cyanide, that's awesome. Range down, oh no. Um, this is this is very good. We got we got a very good setup here. Um, very good for the beast at least. Beast at least, beast at least. Um, yeah, um, some, some different like sea creatures, like sea turtles, obviously. 
Um, but just stuff like dolphins and orcas are really interesting. I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. Ooh, that, that spike there was tricky. Also, Rockfly versus Rockfly. The ultimate battle. God, God damn it. My little dude got in the way. We have really decent fire rate and damage for Brimstone here. This is going so very well. Yeah, damage is 6.75 at this moment, though, which is pretty damn good. Let's keep her moving, keep her grooving. We do have a trinket as well that we can leave behind, because we do need to do that. We do need to do that. I'm trying to think of some others that like really speak out to me. I really like monkeys, but monkeys are kind of deceptive, because it's like... They are, I do like monkeys a lot, but they are, like, not <laughs> not great creatures to be around humans. For one, if they're not trained or brought up around humans, they um, aren't so friendly. And in, in regions that have, like, problems with them, they, um, they terrorize people and, like, steal food. And they'll, they, they just trash things and stuff. So it's kind of like if I could have one that was, like, trained from birth to be around humans, then... That would be awesome as a pet, but otherwise I don't think it'd be too nice. But like, I gotta say, unfortunately, uh, for anyone that, that uses Reddit regularly, you'll know. Sometimes you see some horrific shit that you wish you never saw on there, and I have seen many a thing. Um, and one of those was um, a guy that was just like, I don't know where, I don't know what country he was in, but a guy that was sat on his phone... Um, and a monkey like came up to him and he tried to shoo it away because it was like trying to steal his food or something and the, the the like this monkey was pretty small and it just fucking scalped the dude i mean it just grabbed his skin at the top of his head and just ripped it the fuck off it was brutal the guy was like okay like as okay you can be having just been scalped but my god i was like what if i just watched reddit why? Why was this not marked with not safe for life? God damn it. It wasn't marked as not uh, as, as not even not safe for work. I was like, what the hell is this, Reddit? Thank you for scarring my, me for life. And now I pass that scarring unto you, my children. Unto you. The I, I, I've never really come up with a name for my YouTube audience. Mainly because I'm not fucking like a screamy let's player so i don't need to <laughs> but i don't know there's probably one out there that works um baby turtles are called hatchlings and my item in um ooh, what the hell my item in into the gungeon of my custom character is called the hatchling herd <laughs> i like the idea of that but i think calling my audience that is cringe so i'm not going to hanged man is potentially good Ooh, baby i love you we i think humbling bundle humbling bundle would humble me. We don't have any bombs either. Um. Hmm. Oh, there you go. This could give us five cent, or it could give us counterfeit penny. Oh, baby, I love you way. More money there. By the way, I am very impressed with the performance of this run. I don't know what I did differently, but game is running smooth. Smooth operator. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to buy a Soul Heart and Humbling Bundle here. Uh, and in the spirit of that, I'm going to jump in here and uh, see what we can get. Very, very nice. Right, let's just quickly do some assessment. this be secret room? No, it could not. I had to check it. I didn't think it could. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's here. What? What did you say? Grab that. We'll grab the soul heart as well. And we'll be on our merry little way. Good floor, good floor. Along we go. Along we go. Destroying poops just because it's easy to. Oh, you see the dodges? Oh, that's kind of an interesting little trap room there. When you, like, normally it's fine, but when you got high speed, it's difficult. One second, I got a phone call coming in. I is back. Let's carry on with this fight. Kill this fat boy. Should not be too hard. We're looking for fire rate upgrade here, really. That's kind of the top thing on my list. I don't think we need much else. Honestly, pointy ribs doing a good job, too. We got perfection. This is actually kind of great because we need to leave a trinket behind anyways. So I doubt we're going to keep perfection alive long. 
but we need to leave a trinket anyways, and that trinket isn't doing much for us, let's be honest. Um, okay, four keys off the bat there required, so not, not great. Although, <laughs> speaking of extra keys, that was almost me getting hit straight away there. Okay, I will go and check out the double key room to the top. I'm not super convinced by the dice room yet. Oh, come on now. That's one, two, three, four, five. That, that's literally eight keys required in the first two rooms available. Oh shit, the spider's there that I did not see. I was just about to say, yeah, you fucker. I was just about to say, please don't be a troll bomb, because otherwise I'm kind of trapped. And it was. So we lost perfection without basically getting any usage out of it, but... It's fine, it's fine. We got a luck upgrade instead, there you go. So at the minute, I'm kind of looking for fire rate upgrades or something to replace my active. Or just a lot of keys. A lot of keys would make me happy because we'd be able to go and open up those four golden chests. I think that'd be pretty good. We can get all of these in one fell swoop. Oh, come on. Give me more keys. More keys. We're at three. We need to be at about six <laughs> to really have, like, a good shot of utilizing everything on this floor. I need to be at about six. I'm going to want to go to shop, probably. That's a charged key. Oh, there's holy water. That's not bad. Not bad at all. There's some money as well. Sadly, the charge key doesn't do much for us, but we got it. Holy water. How have you failed me, sir? Oh my god. Brimstone is... It's been a while since I've had a brimstone run, and I am just... Living the high life with this thing. By the way, I apologize if you can hear my fan in the background. It's still quite a warm day, so I have a fan on. Shouldn't be making too much of a difference, but... You never know. You never know. Right. We've got five keys now, so I'm going to go and... We've already been to our item room, too. So I'm going to go and open the four chests up here. One, two, three, four. I was just about to say, if it gives us any keys back, I'd be very happy. Now I can also check... It gave us the exact amount back, actually. Now I can check out the dice room without too much fear. Unfortunately, not great for us, because as you guys know, re um, full run rerolls currently are bugged with planetarium items. Eventually, that will be fixed, but we never know when. It's just an unfortunate incident right now, but we'll go to the shop and see what we can get from there instead. An active item would be nice. Hmm, I mean, I'll take 4.5 volt. It's not good now, but it, it could pay dividends later. Look upgrade. Oh, that, that, oh, what? I, I read the pills the wrong way around there, but get away back up to 10 luck. We got Ragboy. Wow, he is dead now. There's a trinket back. Upon entering a room, Ophelia has a 50% chance to repeat. Okay, there you go. BFF buffs, that's nice. I can't remember what the eternal version of this guy does. Okay, one is thicker brimstone beams. Dude. Second is a lot more brimstone. Third is all that crap. Ah, oh, nice one. Lumpico. Lumpico. That's good. Boom. Lumpico with brimstone is actually tippity top tier. And if we do boss rush, it makes a huge difference in boss rush. And I I think we're relatively likely to um to get that. What the hell's this on the side there? Okay. How does this work? Okay. <laughs> I was like, will this let me get this for free? No, it won't. But I got a lot out of this, so I'm happy. And that guy just killed himself with the holy water. Well done, you goober. Okay, health. I've lost quite a bit, I'll be honest. I've lost quite a bit, but we did just get flight here. I'm very happy about that. Very happy about flight. Not that the spectral tiers matters at all, but flight is good. There we go. Whoa, you didn't die. Pointy rib got my back, though. 
I like the way it makes our brimstone look. It kind of looks chocolate milky now. Can't remember, does chocolate milk do anything with brimstone? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it does. I feel like brimstone's one of, like, the one item that has a synergy with everything it could possibly have a synergy with. I don't think there's much that doesn't have synergies. In fact, if there's anything that doesn't, do let me know. I'm sure modders out there would be intrigued to take on the challenge of adding more synergies to it. I'm not saying that they should just off of this video. I'm just saying, in general, it'd be interesting to hear your guys' ideas for some synergies. More bombs, please. Yes. I think we're going to be well in time for uh, boss rush. We're at, we're at 11 minutes right now. We've got nine minutes to finish this floor on the next one. I think that's more than enough. Oh, God, I did not know that was coming. Should have paid a bit more attention. When I heard the sound, it should have been obvious. God damn, the money. The money just keeps rolling in. Okay, this is our active. This is good. Uh, unfortunately, we've got some of the worst actives plausible here. Uh, books. Now activate another random item on use. Um, doesn't proc items... Wait, how... How does this work? Oh, don't pick up the other trinket, you dildo. You son of a bitch. I was thinking, can we cheese it? Now we'll just take Book of Sin for now. It's a Book of Sin's fairly low charge and gives us another good thing with it. Obviously, yeah, Anarchist Book Cookbook is a bit less charge, but it's also got a much more risk associated with it, in my opinion. Leprosy isn't great. Just generally, leprosy isn't great, to be fair. Oh, also, we got 4.5 volt. That kind of works nicely with this. Um. I think we should go for a reroll here. I mean, we could try and upgrade. We've got Peeper's Eye that we can upgrade. Yeah, let's let's go for a double upgrade on Peeper's Eye. I don't know exactly what it's going to do, but we'll have a little look-see, shall we? Inventory. Peeper's Eye, where are you? Fires five tiers in different directions every few seconds. Tries to home in on enemies close. Spawns an additional Peeper's Eye. Collect, um... Okay, the new Peeper's Eye is upgraded as well with... Inner eye spawns two people's eyes. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so now we have two of these bad boys. That's reasonably useful. And they're going to fire shots every now and again. And I was going to say they're going to get randomly buffed with BFF, but they're not actually anymore. Because I, I got rid of that trinket. But I'm still happier with this trinket. Uh, this, sorry, this active item and trinket combination. It's going to activate other active items. It did say it can't activate ones that are bad for us, I think. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> right, now just remember on the next floor to find the full card. Unfortunately, Whipped Cream is pretty awful for us. Yeah, try and remember to find the full card here. We desperately need it to get the teleport. I'm Drowsy isn't going to quite cut it for us. There's nine lives. We'll definitely take that because we're on one red heart right now. It is pretty much free. What the hell? Oh, sprinkler. I was like, what the hell's firing brimstones? I randomly activated the sprinkler. Ah, there's that tinted skull. Good, good. That's our full card, baby. I'd love to take the iron drowsy with us, but we might find another. We do have PhD. Annoying room. Temperance. It's going to be a little slow going here, but like I said, it's going to be hard for us to miss Boss Rush. I will crack this bad boy open. <laughs> Sci fly, baby. Very nice. Was not expecting something as high caliber as that. Fucking, oh my god. Blood, Blood Puppy is just going ham on all these fellas. We have to deal with him soon, aren't we? You cheeky little chubby fucker. We know what you're like, sir. We know what you're like. Um, I'll just take the Soul Heart. So remember, we can come back to other stuff, so if we don't find our item room, don't worry about it. We should just do the boss straight away. 
That was a really dumb decision by me, but Cyfly kind of helped me out. Okay, now we do have time, actually. We're, we're, we're right here. Okay. I'm not going to go all the way back that way for it. Oh, thank you. I was not expecting that. Smelter. Interesting. Okay. Um, yes, we'll smelt that. And we've got shops can sell items you've already you already have for an increased price. That's a really cool idea. Not that this is useful for us. I'm just gonna take um, Hollow Heart. Right, let's do this now, and then full card out. I do need to check something after this fight, actually. Something that I didn't think about. Oh my god, there's so many people's eyes. What the hell? Um, Doesn't matter which one of these we take. Oh, I should have taken Thingy because we're going to do boss rush. Right, let me just check something really quick. Inventory. Um, Where the hell is it? I'm confused. Oh, there it is. Um, Doesn't proc dice except... Oh. Or, and items that hurt or kill you. It can proc teleports, though. <laughs> okay. This isn't great, but I'm actually, I'm just gonna try it. Lodestone here is incredible. Obviously, as I said, um, Lump of Coal is insane here. You little fucker. <laughs> what did I just say? <coughs> is it gonna do that exact same thing again? Is it pre-authored, which, um activation it gives us. We'll, we'll find out in a second. Okay, no, it's not good. I was going to say, what if it just gave us the same active every single time we couldn't complete it if we used the book? Okay, just stand as far back as we can, which luckily this room allows us to do, and we get maximum damage. Oh, we got pink and shears too, that's nice. What the hell kind of noise was that? Damn it! Okay, well, we can't use the book. <laughs> we cannot use the book. Which probably means we can't even use it in the... Uh, in the, the beast fight, either. Okay, no, give me Soul of Bethany again, so I think it is pre-authored. That's both good and bad. A lot of hearts there. This guy's eternal, so let's get him killed first. They're making noises that I don't like, sir. Remember, yeah, you can, I was just about to say, I remember these guys have boss armor, so it's not going to be quite as much of a wreck fest for these dudes, and that is telling, holy shit, where did you come from? Stop! Stop right there, criminal scum! Holy shit, that's a lot of spiders. Whoa, 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 there's some sort of curvy... Homing shot coming in. It's firing out maggots, apparently? Oh my god. There's all sorts of confusing things I don't understand going on right now. It's because we're fighting Scourge. I didn't realise. <laughs> I didn't realise we are fighting Scourge at all. There he is. Hornfell. Come at me. No, that's not Hornfell. I mean, it kind of is. <laughs> it's the horny bros. We got the horn. We got the horn twirled in his hands. Hey, Hurst. I think my uh, EID is broken. EIDIO. Oh, McMarder had a farm. 
E I D I O. I don't. That's terrible. But anyways, carry on with this. <laughs> Stop making shitty jerks. This shouldn't be too bad for us though. My finger is getting hella tired. I will say that. Stay away from me, boy. Went underneath him. Tricked him. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god, you stopped right behind me. God damn, the damage is insane. Look at that. The first health bar goes down like poot as along. Uh, the second health bar just dies immediately. Oh, for God, stop making me pick up the left hand. Stop it! Oh God, our fellas got angry. Oh no, we, 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 we quelled him. We quelled his temper. Come on, we've got like two more waves left. Damn it, I didn't quite charge enough for that use. Oh, hello. I forgot about you, my lady. Staying out of our way to do as much damage as possible. There you go. There you go. Oh, great item as well. Great item. Right, quickly just go exit and continue. This is just going to fix our EID descriptions. I just want to see if anything in there is worthwhile for us. Ah, oh, you bastard. Wait, can I just use it? Okay. That works for me. Right, pop that in there. Let's go to the item room. Moderate stat boost until we next get hit. I like the idea behind that. How long that will be, nobody knows. And eh, it's not great, but we'll take it. Right. Onto the floor that actually matters. Where am I going? Who knows? Where am I going? Oh, here, okay. There's a convoluted way. Not too confident with our health, but nine lives versus the beast is really good, so. Oh, I didn't leave a bloody, oh, I didn't leave a trinket. Oh, no, 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 I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. Doesn't matter, ignore me, I did, I did. Room scares me. I'm loving Lodestone right now. Oh, we got a burn heart too. Oh wait, our health is gonna be fine. We have hollow heart on the, uh, the the trip down. It's gonna be incredible. There's that item room. We don't actually need to check that yet, but I will. Okay, I'm glad I did because there's a reroll machine here. Yep. <laughs> I will most certainly take a spoon bender, thank you. Also, is that cyanide? Hell yeah. Cyanide. Why not? It's the last item we can buy. Sprinkler's back again. The sprinkler have herbing? I don't think so. Ah, I didn't realize that was a bloody thingy chest. Spiked chest, god damn it. The magician. Lucky Penny's nice. More lodestone procs. Good. We don't need to see anything else on this floor, really. Interesting room here. Oh my god, I <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Oh, 
Where the hell am I meant to be going here? I've been every which wrong way, I think. Okay. Good to go. Grab that. And yeah, Hollow Heart's going to kind of carry here. So we're going to be going through floors very quickly and getting a lot of burn hearts. As long as we can find red hearts along the way, it's going to be very useful. How can you have spent our savings? God damn the herming. I'm so glad I went with this. Another sprinkler? It must have like a limited number of things it can choose from here. Oh wait, oh wait. I, I do want to go in this room, but it has crashed my game prior. So let's just do a quick one of these. Save where we're at. Look at that. It crashed my game. I don't know why it does, but those rooms crash my game a lot. <laughs> one second. Right, we are back. And like I said, yeah, I'm just I'm just getting into a good habit of doing that just in case. When when there's a when we come across something that is known to give us a crash, I'm always just like, you know what? Let's just deal with it. The best damn way I know how. Ooh, double heart. That's really good. Fully fill up those burn hearts. And we get a sell heart to, to boot. Quite nice. Don't really need any other consumables that we're coming across here. But don't worry about me, me missing them. Destructive and disturbed, just like his father. Ooh, big sell heart, baby. Big sell heart. God damn, we have a lot of fellas. We got a lot of friends. Both in terms of enemies that it spawned, but our own little mini selves as well. More mini selves, hell yes. Dominic there as well. Oh god, that was a bad throw. Boom, bow. Nothing much from that. Bet it annoys the hell out of people that I'm leaving stuff all the time, but it's cool. I don't mind. <laughs> Just when when I know I'm like already in a position to like do well. Where where's where's my cracked key? Is it next floor? I thought it was this floor. Okay, now we got a viz as well in the business. In the business. Okay, that, that dude's gonna be annoying as hell. He's getting pushed around all over the place. It's crazy. I forget how good Perky Girl can be sometimes. Like, it does give you a, a, a lot and a lot of friends. It should be this floor, right? Yeah, there you go. And we've left hearts all over the place. So this is what I mean. Hollow Heart plus going to the, um... Going to the Beast is an insane, um... Combo. Because, yeah, it's just guaranteed full health. Pretty much. Obviously, you have to keep the burn hearts alive during all of it, but I think it's pretty much guaranteed. Ooh, also, we've got some Herming Creep going on here because we've got uh, Aquarius this floor. Nice. Whoa, he's very golden. <laughs> Look at that. Very, very golden boy. <laughs> I like the way whenever in a room with one of these dudes, it just kills all of the familiars we've acquired. Whatever they are, it's just like, they're all dead now. Also, my herming seems to be way better than normal. It's like reaching the entire room. Another one of these rooms. It's, it's sad that they're not working right now. I really do want to show them off, but it is what it is. I think I just used Krampus' head there. I was a bit confused why I did four-way brimstone, but that's the only thing that makes sense. Ooh, ooh, this was close. It made me drop my key. Awesome. Our oh, damage isn't actually that great, is it? 5.44. Nothing super impressive. I mean, the damage we're doing seems to be good enough, but... Yeah. 
Hello, Bambino. How are you, my good sir? Right. Oh my god. Things have so much armor. Look at this thing. So tanky. Give me that look upgrade pill. Ah, you, ba you big bad bitch. He's collected the pill as well. Get off of him. Okay, last floor. Full up on burn hearts, pretty much. Damn it. I didn't really think about the fact that Hollow Heart is the thing that lowered our damage so much because we got so much extra HP. It's not really what you want as Eve, is it? I, I did not clock onto that whatsoever. Bit stupid of me. But again, it is what it is. I think we're fine nonetheless. Okay, so up we go. Right, now I need to do the additional step here. So let me just go over to my Discord. And go back to my chat with Mr. Seems Good, the developer. <laughs> okay. So, the way this, the, the way the way we gotta work this. Also, stop taking my heart back off of me. The way we gotta work this is a bit weird. So, this might not even work the way I intend it to, but I hope it does. Range upgrade, we don't need that. Right, so we pop through here. Through here. We go into this room. This gives us inner child as it should, but the body isn't there. So what we do now is we go spawn 6.14. And then we grab that, and there you go. Now, I could just cheat all of those in, but I'm going to go one by one and unlock those in that exact way. Because that is the only way we can currently trigger it, because the body, like the, the Tainted Eve doesn't spawn. And the body, as you saw, wasn't there. It was in a child instead. So we need to forcefully spawn it in ourselves. It's a little bit awkward. But we actually have a way of getting these things now. So now we can unlock the tainted hearts. Oh god, our, like, brimstone is near invisible on this backdrop. I am going to continue to use my book. I realize it's quite risky. Also, using Lodestone on the TV causes some wacky effects, if I remember correctly. What, what, spot a shop item on a battery. Not doing terrible damage to this TV. It's going okay. Hello, fella. My blood baby is doing a good job too. Just getting in there. Diving right in. Yeah, we're doing we're doing perfectly fine damage. We got Psy Fly, so there's, there's there's really no threat. Obviously this attack is not based on Psy Fly really, or at least part of it isn't. Didn't mean to pick up that heart there, but we did. I'm kind of just staying right in its face and then letting the, uh, letting Sci-Fly just destroy all the projectiles. For the most part, it's working out just fine. We didn't get any fire upgrades either, did we? A oh, good thing is as well, we technically have homing bombs if there's Lodestone on the enemy. Which is very nice. We got a black heart out of somewhere there. Where's the black heart? It's on top of him. I just wanted the black heart, God damn it! We can't even take the black heart. That was stupid of me. We have no room for it. But anyways, now we're on to this. Oh my god. <laughs> I always forget how Blood Puppy just glitches the hell out. 
This is gonna be a, a pretty tedious fight, I think. Especially if you get any Eternal versions. As you can clearly see, we're not doing great damage here. Also, we have Taurus, apparently. Wasn't expecting that, but there you go. Okay, good. Teleporting doesn't actually teleport us. Give me that battery, you fool. I'm just hoping we can get a active item that is some sort of permanent upgrade. Some sort of damage up, like a Book of Belial or something. Just to make this fight a bit more bearable. 4.5 volt should hopefully help us get there. But we'll see. A lot of floating tears here that are scaring me. Sci-fi, if you could take care of those, that'd be just lovely. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's glitching out. Lodestone has uh, taken him away. He is gone. I can't attack him. Would you like to return to me, sir? Because this is unnatural. Excuse me? Would you like to come back? I, I physically can't attack you right now, sir. Doesn't look so good for us, does it? Oh, here he is. He's back. He's back. Sprinkler. Yes. That's actually a really good position for Sprinkler, too, if it has herming on it. Dude, this fucking stupid maggot. I don't know Lodestone glitched this guy out so much. Oh my god. You get Lodestone on a minute, just he just yeets himself away. Look at that. What the hell? Heck man. Oh, fruity plum. Oh, plum flute, sorry. Go on, my fellow. Oh my god, he just launches off into the stratosphere. Not into the lava. No. <laughs> that sprinkler is going to be so useful for us with the uh, herming it's got on everything. Ow. I had to get that card in case it was something good. It was not. He stomp. He chomp. Going well here. Going well. Actually, going quicker than I thought it would. What the hell happened then? I dropped a bomb on him. I'm really not worried about my health because I have so many lives to work with after this. Oh my god. The Lodestone is glitching these things out. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, I have the pony now. Damn you, sir. If you'd have sat on the other side, we would have done so much damage to you right now. You duped me, though. You duped me. To be fair, he's getting there. He's getting there. Got him. Okay, this this time the sprinkler should be in a very good spot to do some work. Because it's basically sat right on top of him, yeah. So, like, no matter what, it's going to be hitting him. Apart from when he flips over to the other side of the screen. Also, being able to hit behind us means we can hit the stalagmites pretty easily here, which is nice. I don't know what we spawned then. Uh, we, we duplicated our uh, familiars there. We activated Box of Friends, I think. Because I seem to have an additional side fly. Which I don't know if that's any use to us, really, but we have one now. 
To be fair, I could, I, my stats could be going up rapidly right now, and I have no idea, because I can't actually see my stats during this fight. Thank you, Cyflies. Golden Penny, no! This thing will at least take out the sal Salagmites for me. Thinking she is. Good, good, good. Get, get on him. So. Ah, thinking she is. Latch. Dude. Latch onto this guy. Oh my lord. Thinking she is, you are useless. All you gotta do is latch onto the dude. Soul heart. Gimme, gimme. Oh god, it's the really, really glitchy ghosts. Okay, Sprinkler's back in action. I'm so glad that I accidentally just placed it in a perfect spot. <laughs> Ooh. Crack the sky going off. Okay, nice. We keep, we keep getting bombs as well. I keep forgetting to use them. There you go. Finished it out, and we finally unlocked a, hit a different tinted heart, so that should be nice to find. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this run. I'll see you guys in the next one.